Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Cooking up. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Today I'm going to make a, a clay pot fish head for my family. Yeah, for dinner. Um, so I have a half of a snapper fish head here. This is actually Blueberry Lips uh, snapper. And, and you can use actually you can use any white meat uh, white meat fish that you can find yeah and of course if you don't uh, if, you, if your family doesn't like to eat fish head you can try to use fish cutlet or maybe even fish tail yeah so later we are just going to deep fry the fish head and we are going to cook some mixed veggie and put on top of the fish head served with clay pot that's how easy it is all right so as the name suggests, uh, I mentioned mixed veggie here. There's no rules as to what kind of veggie you want to use. I also never prepare, purposely prepare any specific veggie. I just opened my fridge five minutes ago and I just take out whatever I can find. <laughs> so I have some broccoli, some cauliflower, some carrot, some sweet beans, some ca uh, cabbage, uh, and a bit of big chili. So that's what I'm going to put inside. And we are, we are going to use uh, chicken stock to cook uh, the base of the mixed veggie. So, and we are going to create a chicken stock very easily just by prepare some one bowl of hot water and with the chicken stock powder. Uh, this is my chicken stock powder. Yeah? You can already get it from Shopee for both Singapore and Malaysia. Yeah? I will put the link inside the video description. 100% natural. And how fast is it going to um, create the chicken stock? Prepare the hot bowl of water, put in some about one teaspoon of chicken, chicken stock powder. Done. The chicken stock is ready. I never measure, but you can put somewhere around one teaspoon. So first of all, we are going to prep the fish. Let's marinate with some uh, salt. Fine salt, yeah. Wow, look at the beautiful colour of the fish head. Very, very fresh. You can even marinate with the fish with some of my chicken powder if you like. Seriously. <laughs> it's going to bring you some umami flavour. Uh, then next thing is we are going to put some uh, cornstarch. Coat the fish with a very thin layer of uh, cornstarch. So it will give it some nice thin crust and also it will not splatter as much when you deep fry. So I have some oil, uh, actually this is recycled oil just now. I use this same oil to deep fry some chicken a while ago. So you want to use a uh, high heat to deep fry your fish. That is when you start seeing some smoke coming out like this. That will be somewhere around 180 degrees Celsius. This is after about a minute plus. So to carefully flip it over. Whoa. Very fragrant. Total deep frying time uh, probably about two minutes each side. Plus minus four to five minutes. Okay? This is after another about two minutes. That's the thing about deep frying fish at home. We won't use as much oil like what the res restaurant do, yeah? So we have to flip it and adjust the wok a little bit here and there whenever necessary. Let's get the fish is done. I just want to get the kind of uh, color that I wanted. I'm going to put in some vegetable oil or garlic oil. Actually, I have some garlic oil. Let's put in some garlic oil. Okay. And we are going to saute some ginger, put it in the mixed veggie. Put in the chicken stock. Give 
give it a big bowl uh, of chicken stock so that later we are going because we are going to put in some uh, starch solution shortly so now we can actually uh, give it some seasoning um, we're going to start with oyster sauce actually Chinese cooking is very easy the seasoning is just oyster sauce, garlic sauce uh, sorry, oy oyster sauce, uh, light soya sauce it's light soya sauce giving a little bit of salt some Shaoxing wine, this is optional no need to find replacement if you don't take alcohol just don't put the Shaoxing wine few dashes of white pepper and I will put few dashes of my favorite premium Vietnamese fish sauce this is after approximately 3 minutes simmering ok now off the fire and add in some cornstarch solution immediately it thicken out I don't mind adding a little bit of garlic oil right now to give even more uh, shinier color and also extra aroma I always make my own garlic oil at home yeah? you can actually uh, use sesame oil as well right see how beautiful it is actually outside when you eat normally they will put in a bit of uh, roast pork and also uh, fried tofu as well wow that is also very nice so I prepare a clay pot at the side here put a little bit of garlic oil at the bottom or sesame oil then put the uh, fish head on top and I heated it up a little bit and we're going to pour this all over Wow. look at how appetizing it looks <laughs> and let me sprinkle some fried garlic on top and probably get garnish it with some uh, fresh coriander this is fried garlic Here's some fresh coriander on top. Few dashes of white pepper if you like, and it is done. Ta da! Nice, and you want to serve it hot. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Our Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Wow, look at how it sizzles. Very, very nice, isn't it? Woohoo. I hope you like, enjoy your dinner with your family. Bye-bye.